All right, traders, in this market update, we're gonna be looking at the actual stock market itself. Uh, obviously, silver, gold, and this is just gonna be short-term technical analysis, okay, guys? So this is um, it's really important to understand that there's differences between the big picture, what could be, say, fundamental news, like the interest rates, the inflation, and so on and so forth. There could be big picture, like consensuses and, and so on and so forth. But there also there's short-term technical analysis, and it's important that we decipher the differences between. So in this video only, um, I'm gonna be focusing mainly on the short-term technical analysis of things, and then we can go from there. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video, because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So so this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, um, I've actually uh, opened up 15 spots. I'm personally gonna be sharing with you something I've never done before, and that is I'm gonna be sharing with you what I call the super trader formula. This is the exact same formula that I've learned from my past two mentors, and it really helped me go from losing money to making a lot of money. And um, and it really is a step-by-step -step formula that I actually walk through, and I'm gonna personally walk you through that, and I'm doing it for the very first 15 people only. See that, see that link in the description there? Or if you go to John's, J-O-H-N-S, and then STF, John's STF, or very first link in the description, click on that. Go over, you can get access to the free trading course, and then also I'm gonna give you, and also the very first 15 people, I'm gonna personally walk you through the super trader format, which is like a bit of a plan that you need to follow if you really wanna be successful in the markets. My very first mentor actually did it, um, and he turned, he, he, he started with a five, five ten thousand dollars trading account and grew it to the three million. And then I took the exact same pattern, the exact same formula, and, uh, and, and also my other mentor who makes, you know, millions of dollars a year right to this day. And also I did it for myself as well too. So anyway, guys, link in the description there. Let's get straight into the markets now. So looking at the S&P 500, there's a few things here. Again, this is, again, guys, this is a short-term technical analysis, and I don't wanna hear your bumblebees in the chat box say, John, you are flip-flopping all over the place. No, you little bumblebees, right? There's a difference between big picture analysis of, okay, the big picture analysis of the consensus could be saying this. That doesn't mean today we're gonna go up or go down, you little bumblebee, right? <laughs> right, go for a run. Uh, what that simply means is that the overall picture, right? That's like me saying the gold miners are going to be in a supersonic boom, right? They're going to go supersonic boom. Does that mean we're not going to pull back for a week or two in that big boom? No, right? Do you see what I'm saying there, right? So anyway, short-term TA right now, what I'm looking at here uh, from this level here is if I just take this off the screen, then what I can see clearly is that we actually have this level through here right now so we have this bouncing off this level through here bouncing off that level through there and we're actually at that level right now and also you can see how we've actually got a lot of resistance up through there as well too right so we're sort of squeezing up into this pattern right now okay that, that's 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 just one touch through there so and then we've got two touches through there so right now we actually could be getting ready for some sort of a breakout to the upside from here so we have moved up and as you can see we are slowly what stair step into the upside remember what i said before guys what is rule number one rule number one is what the trend is your friend until the end right so that simply means that if the market is stair stepping higher we don't go short <laughs> oh the top's in the top's in the top's in the top's in <laughs> no Wait for the market to go, oh, now, oh, the top's in, right? So what happened through here? Slight downward trend. <gasps> what happened here? High, low, oh, look, now we're actually what? We're in an upward trend now, right? So there's actually a real good probability that we're probably gonna break out to the upside. And if we do get that, let's actually see where it could actually run to. Bit of a short-term TA here. So we're probably, if we do get that, we could run to that high through there, maybe even as high as that level up through there. Let me go back in time a little bit. That's actually probably through there i would say so a bit of a short term uh, again real 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 short term technical analysis here guys support support um and then we're squeezing up into this triangle pattern the breakout then could actually see us going for a nice move back to the upside about a three percent or so to the upside okay again guys this is just a levels that we need to be focusing on and keep an eye on for this week or over the next few days okay actually it could be tomorrow then so again guys it's not my opinion here, okay? This is nothing about my opinion or about what the what I think the market's going to do. No, this is just what? This is just me telling you what the charts are telling you. Don't fight. I, I'm just I'm just the messenger, right? <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Let's move over now through to, we'll go to the Dow Jones. And again, short-term TA as well too, once again. Uh, let me take that one off the screen because that's that longer-term level through there. And if I bring this level up through here, 
that'll be that level I'd use from that level there to that level there. So as you can see, right, we're squeezing, we're possibly gonna be squeezing up into a triangle pattern, or should I say, um, uh, yeah, another triangle pattern through here. So we could, even on the Dow Jones, we could we could actually be getting a bit of a, bit more of a sideways movement through here. So let's go, once again, let's go real short term picture, the last three months. What I mean, what I mean by small picture, big picture guys, is this last three months is what I call the small picture. What's happening right now? The big picture is like what's been happening for the last couple of years. Where are we and so on and so forth. And there is a skill to learning that. Again, guys, when you go, when you get access to that super trader format, link in the description, um, I'm also gonna email you the free trading course. The video number two, three, and four are all about chart reading techniques you can apply to any market right now. And the thing is about two or three hours worth of content there. So just, you'll see that in the free trading course, right? So look at this here. So right now, what's actually happening? We had a move up, so we could actually get a bit, bit more of a backing pattern, right, through there. And it may be even, we may be even getting something through there. So let's actually just, we may even be getting something through that level through there, maybe, right? So that was the bounce through there. And it's just, it's not a definite line, but we could we could, we could be getting that, right? And then a sort of a squeezing up pattern. So we could be getting something like this, where we get the squeezing up pattern through there. And then we start to get a bit of a breakout through there. Makes sense? So uh, if we do get that, there is a bit of a resistance above there. There's, a whole, there's actually a whole bunch of areas of resistance through there. So... It's not as definite as the S&P 500, but that's what's actually happening on the short term there, guys. Uh, again, if we start, if we really start to break above, let's see, this level right here, if we can really get a back, if we can really get back above that level there, then the next level is up through there. People are like, John, what's the number? Give me the number. <laughs> I, 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 I actually had on one of my YouTube videos a few months ago. I was doing, I was exactly saying that. Right? I, was, I was saying that. It's like, here we go. The, this is the resistance here, and this is the support here. And then someone said, John, some of us are feeding the cats. Tell us the number. <laughs> I hope you're not feeding the cats right now. I hope you're not feeding the cat when you're trading. Maybe that's your big issue. <laughs> Right, you want to make really good money, you want to make six figures and seven figures from trading, but I'm too busy feeding the cat. <laughs> oh, priority, priorities, priorities, priority, priorities. Anyway, <laughs> don't feed the cat. Um, <laughs> actually, no, feed the cat, but that de de uh, designate a time for that, right? Right now, I'm doing this, okay? So, if we do get a good break above that level through there which looks like that's the Dow Jones. Let me take that, let me take that off on screen through there. Yeah, so if we do, actually we could, we could be squeezing up to that level there. So that'll be probably the interesting thing that I'm noticing right now. If we do get back above, if we break above, what's John, what's the number? Okay, let me tell you the number, okay? <laughs> if we get back above 34,400, we're probably gonna run to 35,400. Oh, there you go, a thousand point move. Bing, like that, all right? So, and that's actually what it looks like it's doing, right? Look at this here. We could be squeezing up through here, bit of a breakout. I know it's red, right? We do this too, right? But let's do that. And if we do get that, then we could be seeing a move to the upside. So guys, right now on a short-term technical analysis, guess what? These indices are what? They're starting to look, they're actually bullish right now. They're actually starting, they're getting very, a very good bullish tone to them uh, overall. Um, now, here's a big mistake that a lot of people make, right? A big mistake is that I'm doing analysis on the S&P. So you automatically think every single stock in the stock market, if I look at the S&P, the NASDAQ, the Dow, the Russell, the blah, 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 right? And if they all look bearish, guess what? You automatically think that every single, uh, sorry, no, flip it upside down. The indices look quite bullish here, right? So, but then you automatically have that bias that every stock, every stock, every stock in the stock market's gonna be bullish. Not so necessarily, right? So don't have a bias, right? It's a market of stocks, not a stock market. Just because the indices are doing something doesn't mean the individual stocks are gonna be doing something. Just because the indices are gonna be going up doesn't mean we're not gonna have stocks going down a lot, right? Just because the indices are going down doesn't mean we're not gonna have stocks going up. We've seen this, we've seen this, right? Look at things like McDonald's, look at things like, I think it was Monster. Like these individual stocks, as the stock market has been slowly pulling back, right, slowly, slowly, slowly pulling back through here, guess what's been happening to those stocks? Breaking up all time new highs. So please guys, when you're doing your trading, don't say the S&P 500 looks bullish, so therefore, you know, all stocks are gonna be bullish, right? That's where like for me personally, I trade on the individual stock itself. I don't, 
I don't really care what the S&P 500 is doing when it comes to my trading of the markets. I'm just doing it because it's a market update for you guys. Let's go have a look at the NASDAQ through here. And what's happening through the NASDAQ? The NASDAQ is pretty much doing the, sort of the same, sort of the same thing here, aren't we? So, um, and what, about, what I mean by sort of the same thing is that if we have a look at this here, so we're definitely at this area of resistance through there. Look at that there, big, strong area of resistance. We're going sideways through here, guys. This is actually a bullish, very, very, very bullish pattern, guys. Very bullish pattern. Um, and so we are definitely, if we're looking at some sort of support and resistance line through here, we are definitely looking at possibly, I'd have to use that as the major, major one. We may even have a line possibly... We could even possibly have it coming up through there, maybe, like somewhere through there. So that'll be the line. But as you can see, right, what's happening here, we're squeezing up and squeezing up. So uh, if we could, we if we continue to get like a bit more sideways movement, we're actually going to be squeezing up into this overall sort of triangle pattern through there. And they say about 80% of the triangle patterns, like triangle patterns are flying all over the place. Bullish triangle patterns are flying all over the place when it comes to, the, when it comes to these markets, right? So if we do get a breakup, then guess what? We're probably on the on the on the Nasdaq. We're probably going to get that. Now, what's going to cause that? Well, maybe, maybe, just maybe, the interest maybe because the, the 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 interest rates maybe the interest rates the long term interest rates are going to start to come down, and that's going to be a, that's going to what's caused the Nasdaq to actually start to move to the upside. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think? Do you think the overall long-term interest rates are going to start to come down, and that's what—that's the reason why the, the actual charts have given us some sort of bullish cases through here, which is bullish bullish movement through here, and this is actually like a bullish flag through here. So, is that what you actually think is going to happen um, from there? And also, guys, out of the out of all the tech stocks, which one is your favorite? You know, you got all the big tech stocks through there. Um, do you, is is Amazon your top dog or is it Google? Which one is your favorite sort of tech stock out there? I really see, I really like to see uh, what your what your view and what your opinion is on that. So that's what I'm looking at there on the good old Nasdaq. Let's go look at the Russell. And the Russell, once again, the Russell is one of those one of those markets that we're not. There is not really any sort of good, clean, clear indication of this is not bullish, right? This is like bearish but it doesn't mean we can't do this what it doesn't mean we can't so we're doing this sort of analysis through here right um yeah so we're doing this here but it's come down look at this here come down going sideways so this is actually not bullish but what can also happen with this here is that if we have a look at this so we have a look at this area if we squeeze up through there i'm just trying to squeeze up squeeze up okay so what can actually happen with these here is that we definitely do have an area. That's a, that's definitely a strong area of resistance through there, right? And then the next area of resistance is possibly up through there. John, what's the number? <laughs> 190, 180. There's good support at zero, <laughs> right? So we can see that through there. So what can happen is that this is, again, this is through here, but what can happen is that we actually start to what? We actually start to get a move. We actually get a break up like that. Then what does that mean? We could actually even then start to see a move back to the upside because if, if the other indices are going to go for a bullish move, then maybe we're going to get this as well too, right? Now, just remember guys, when we're trading, guess what? We want to wait for confirmation. Just because there's a head and shoulder formation or there's a triangle pattern all that sort of stuff, we don't preempt. We don't say, oh my goodness, here we go. You're like Dow Jones, NAS Dow, Dow Jones, S&P, you know, uh, NASDAQ, bullish triangle patterns. It's got to break to the upside. Let's go long now. No, wait for the breakout first, right? because anything can happen in the good old markets, right? So anyway, so that's what I'm looking at through there when it comes to the markets through there. Let's go have a good look at a short-term TA on the good old uh, GDXJ. GDXJ, guys, is getting a small little pullback through here, but I believe this is gonna be short-lived. Um, very strong up move, and now we're getting this overall pullback through here coming down. And if I draw a trend line, we actually can see we can sort of connect the highs through there. See that through there? It's pretty amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Bam, right? Bam, that'll be the trend line. Look at that resistance through there, resistance through there, and now we're coming down through here as well too. And you can see here, right? Look at this here. As soon as we actually did what? As soon as we actually broke this level through here, guess what? That's when the move ended, didn't it? See? The bouncy, 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 and broke. Now we're down, 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 right? We could be seeing a nice move coming to the upside on the GDX uh, real soon. But where, if we use, um, the, it's really, really hard to say exactly where, but if we're using some sort of Fibonacci level, then there's a prop, there's possibly a good chance we're gonna see maybe a 50% retracement, which actually I would love that, by the way. If we can get down to a 50% retracement, 
uh, then that'd be pretty amazing looking at the GDXJ through there. Looking at the GDX, and again, sort of the same thing, guys, the same sort of thing on that through there. Big strong up move, now we're getting a pullback. It'd be really good to actually get a move down towards that 50% level. And then we're probably, then we're gonna sort of scoop up through here and go through that. The reason why that that is, guys, is because in one of the mining stocks that I'm actually looking at right now, um, I'm looking to pick up some cheap options on the, on this dip that's coming through soon. And if that does happen, I'm gonna scoop up some really cheap options. And if the market does then start to continue this up upstream from there, um, the percent return is, if this particular trade that I'm actually looking at, and I'm gonna share with my private clients what it is, I'm not gonna share with you guys, um, but uh, I could be looking at between probably a three to 4,000% profit um, on my trade that I'm actually looking at. So um, it's a really, really, really good high quality setup that I, or it's a really good high probability setup. Um, and if it does play out, then I could be looking at close to, or uh, could be looking at close to four thousand percent return on this particular trade. So again, guys, that's the that's the better for you being being part of part being part of my private client group, right? You use actually when I start to see opportunities like this, then I'm going to go, oh, you know, I'm not going to give YouTube everything, but I'm going to teach you guys some stuff um, from there. So again, guys, um, if you do need some help, then just let me know. So let's go look at this here. Let's go have a look at the SIL from here. And the SIL, again, sort of doing the same thing as well too, guys, looking at the SIL. Move up, and now we're having a move down. Uh, and also, we can also see, once again, that 50% Fibonacci level. So if we can get that, that'll be amazing. And then same for the, once again, the SILJ. Same sort of thing as well too, right? Um, let's go have a look at the silver and gold market. Gold is, or silver is actually continuing to go sideways through here. We definitely do have, there's actually two types of sort of, we have this long-term resistance through here, and then we definitely have this long-term resistance through here as well. Um, that's through there, as you can see. Look at there, it ran up, hit resistance, and now we're going sideways. So I would expect to see silver possibly, I would expect silver possibly to have a bit of a sideways, like a lot more sideways movement now, because we had such a big move. So maybe another week or so of sideways movement out of silver. And then looking at the gold market as well too. Gold is actually looking, uh, again, it's, it's looking quite, quite sort of weak overall, but sideways movement. I believe we're gonna continue getting this sideways movement here for quite some time until we get into this triangle pattern through here. Once again, triangle patterns are flying all over the place right now. Um, and you can see that that's that resistance line through there, from there to there. So uh, I believe we're probably gonna go sideways for a bit here, guys. And then when we do get sideways, we're probably likely to see a very, very, very big move to the upside in gold.